So by popular demand, and to keep somebody in this shop happy, <clears throat> I'm gonna use white paper towels to clean the windows. If I can get them open, that is. I'm not sure if this is the correct way or not to clean windows, but... The way to clean windows is to make a, a mess with all the paper towels and everything. It's the only way that, oh, man, that I know how to clean windows my way. You know something, Pete? I suck at cleaning windows. Yeah, we know. Uh-huh. And everybody on fucking YouTube just laughs at me. Well. <laughs> yeah. You just flip it and fold it and go back over it. Okay. Okay? You're not doing that. You're getting it dirtier by putting your hands through the... It, it just... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, but one paper towel, you know, four paper towels should do the whole window. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Instead of just keep ripping off one at a time. That makes sense. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it, it, it goes through paper towels, but you only do it one time and oh. then you wipe it dry. Okay. See how dirty it yeah. is? Yeah. Okay. Then you take and you open it back up to a clean spot. And you do it and you And then you just keep going back over it until it's dry. You'll feel it kind of rub pretty hard, and then you know it's dry. Okay. Alright. Uh, so this thing's done. We'll probably end up pulling that 7800 in and doing it next. Windows are about 99.8% clean. So I got some issues in this uh, storage room here where I keep my feed. Uh, they have decided that they wanted to have a, a field day with my feed and make a mess. And I got these rack or rack pads, uh, place packs for rats. Um, you're just supposed to be able to to kind of just throw them around like that. It's a bag of rice seed that needs to get out of here. I've been feeding that to the chickens every so often. Let's see, put one back here. Over there. Man, I hope if the cats don't find this stuff that they don't get a hold of it, but, and there, so, hope I done something good. So you guys remember the other day when I got excited with this darn thing? Um, the filter was smashed is why I was having a heck of a time with this, getting the uh, air filter housed canister latch to work properly was because the filter was bent that I put in. Straightened it back out and it, you know, worked just fine. Um, got the uh, new lift pump on this thing. Uh, lift pump, fuel pump got the new 
um, fuel filter on. Had to use new compression fittings because the other ones were junk. Is why I was having such a pain in the butt. And we got the um, canister on for the cab filter. Uh, also took with a pair of vice grips. And I didn't have those vice grips on there right, so that was my screw up. But you learn from your mistakes. Right, Pete? Right. It looks so much better now being all buffed out. But it only lasts for a while, for a short time. That's why you, we don't let stuff set out if we can help it. Because it fades the paint and then you get to go through this whole process again. Two things I learned today, Pete. What's that? that I can be a, the biggest pain in the butt with my YouTube videos. And I learned how to clean windows the right way. Right? Well, I hope so. Yeah. It's alive! Good! Good! Hang on! Let me go check the ones in the back. Turn your cab lights on. The left, the left one is burnt out. What? The left cab light is burnt out on the back. Is it on now? Nope. Is it on? No. Would it be on? It would be on, yes, but the bulb was burned out. But you had tail lights. <laughs>